A former Caribbean ambassador to Haiti painted a dire picture of the crisis engulfing the nation, saying it faces one of its worst security situations since the 2004 rebellion that ousted President Jean Bertrand Aristide. Earl Huntley, who previously served as CARICOM's representative in Haiti, said in a Wednesday News Force interview that recent events like the jailbreak of prisoners and a gang attack on the main airport have exacerbated turmoil in the Caribbean nation. And this one, as I said, is probably the most serious that has um, happened in Haiti since 2004 since, or since the earthquake of 2010. Politically, it's the most serious. The, the, all the institutions of the state are not working. There's a humanitarian crisis and um, they're, they're, they're criminal gangs basically in control of the capital. So it has to be a worrying, a worrying situation for CARICOM. The Caribbean Community Regional Bloc has launched negotiations to find a political solution, led by an eminent persons group with former Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony as coordinator. Huntley said the key objective must be establishing a legitimate transition government. So one is to bring some kind of political solution um, to the situation where all the stakeholders, and I'm talking about the political, the business, the civil um, um, organizations, can accept a transition government that can deal with the security situation, has the legitimacy to deal with the security situation and, and, and to arrange for a smooth transition of, of of power in the next few years. Haiti has been mired in a power vacuum since Prime Minister Ariel Henry's stated February 2024 departure date with no clear path for elections. The parliament has been dissolved for over three years. Well, they're negotiating now to see whether they can bring a political solution. That's the first thing. Because one of the problems is that uh, um, Prime Minister Ariel Henry had said he'd stay there until well, this year, February this year, but he has not been able to effect a transition, and that's what needs to happen. You need to because there are no elected institutions in Haiti. The, the, the parliament um, um, well, it wasn't dissolved; its term expired about three, four years ago, three years ago. So there's no senate, there's no parliament, um, there's no the, the, the government that is there's not an elected government. Huntley again warned the crisis could rank among Haiti's worst since the 2004 rebellion supported by U.S. and French forces or the devastating 2010 earthquake. Former President Je Bertrand Aristide, ousted in 2004, reportedly traveled to Puerto Rico Wednesday after being denied entry to the Dominican Republic amid the chaos. Gina Filippi. HDS News Force.